For layout fitting number nine, which is going to be the bottom exterior door, first we set the scribe to one inch. By the way, our layout piece is 16 and 7 eighths by 12 and a quarter of 26 gauge. With a scribe set at one inch, make your mark, reset it to inch and an eighth, make your mark again on the sides and top. Reset it to two and an eight, two and a quarter. Once again, this is going to be almost exactly, in fact, it's exactly the same as the bottom door. The only difference is the size of the metal that you start off with. So at the two and a quarter, once again, just mark it over to the one inch and then cut it out. And I'll just go bend that up the same way the other one would spin up. I went ahead and skipped the details on the rest of the build up on the bottom door because it's just the same as the top like I'd said and no use putting you through all that. Okay now for the hinge on the door what's going to be used is a piano hinge. This one right here happens to be one inch from outside to outside and all we need to do is cut the piano hinge to the size of the door and then pop rivet it on and this since the door dimensions are nine inches and ten inches then that's the size of piano hinge you'll need is nineteen inches worth or if you have to track something down that's eighteen inches and just split the difference now in lighting up the doors what you want to do is there's enough there's about a half inch play in between here and so you'll want to put it right about in the middle and with these doors you don't want them to accidentally hit and so space them just a little bit right here I'm at about a quarter of an inch mark that To start off with a piano hinge and mounting it, it's easier to mount it on the door first. And so what you do is you push it up to the door and you pull it out about a sixteenth of an inch. And that'll give it a little bit of distance so it's not going to bind up as you're opening and closing the door. Make it more free to swivel. Alright, we've got the four rivets in it. And basically the rule of thumb is however many holes there are in the piano hinge, that's how many rivets you should put in it. And so from here we go ahead and put the door back at our alignment marks and we pop rivet it on into place there. And then we do the same to the top door and then for, you know, we'll pick up from there. Now all that's left is to put some sort of latching mechanism on here. Uh, go down to the hardware store, see which type you want to put on. There's a lot of different ways of doing it. but. Uh, from here, there's only one last thing to be aware of, and that is that if you're going to be putting this on some sort of surface that's scratchable, such as linoleum or a tent floor or anything that's going to be prone to scratching, then you'll want to put some 2x4s under here. You can even screw them from the inside and screw them down and make it a part of permanent part of the stand. Otherwise, this is a sharp edge, it will scratch whatever there is and it will rip if it's on some sort of material.